Hello and welcome to my channel Mathematical Coaching Center. So in today's class we'll do laws of indices from the chapter indices or exponents. So what is indices? An index number is a number which is raised to a power. So what does that mean is that for example we have 2 to the power 5, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 5 times if we get 32. So this type of sum is called as indices. So what you can see is that 2, 2 is called as base and 5 is called as index or power. So when we can use this laws of indices, so you can see an example here, we have 3 to the power 4 and 3 square is there. So both the cases you can see that bases are same. So now we can use the laws of indices. But in the next example you can see 3 to the power 5 and 5 to the power 7, both the bases are different. That means now we cannot use the laws of indices. Now let's start today's class. Let's start law of indices. So rule number one. So rule number one, what it says is that you can a to power zero equals to one. So what does this mean is that anything to the power zero is one. Suppose I have an example, thousand. So thousand power is zero. That means I can take it as one. Suppose I have one crore. One crore to the power zero is again is your one. So you can say anything to the power zero is one. Suppose you are standing and your power is 0 so you can say it is 1 okay so now let's do rule number 2 here we have rule 2 so to rule 2 says a to power minus m suppose the power is minus negative so to make it positive it's in numerator to be positive it will go to the denominator okay so same rule number 2 another way I can write like this suppose a to power minus n is there now it's in denominator it's negative so to make it positive it will go up numerator so a to the power n so let's do an example you can see like this 2 to the power minus 3 can you say me it's negative negative so to be positive i have to take to the denominator that means it will be 2 to the power 3 so 2 to the power 3 everyone you know 2 into 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 2 how much it will be 8 okay got it so let's another example I can do like this 5 to the power minus 2. So you can see here the negative terms is in denominator. So to be positive it will go up. That means it will be in numerator negative so it will go up so plus 2. So 5 square means 5 into 5. So 5 into 5 is your how much? It's your 25. So this is my rule number 2. So now let's do rule number 3. Rule number 3 you can see here like this a to power m into a to power n so can you see that a base this these two are base and these two are power or index so base are same if the base are same the power should be added that means i can write a m plus n so let's do an example i'll show you an example 2 to power 3 into 2 to power 2 is there so can you see there 2 2 base are same base are same means the power should be added that means 2 3 plus 2 so it will be 2 3 plus 2 is your 5 so i got the answer so 2 to power 5 you can expand and you can get the answer suppose i have like this 5 to power 2 into 5 to power suppose 5 another example so can you say me 5 5 bases are same that means the power should be added that means 5 2 plus 5 so how much it will be 2 plus 5 is your 7 okay so this is your rule number 3 the reason using this rule is you can see here this only I'll show you 2 to power 3 2 to power 3 means 3 times 2 into 2 into 2 and 2 to power 2 is how many 2 times so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 that means how much it is 2 to power 5 so that is the rule so okay so bases are same if the powers are different or same if the powers will be added now now next rule number 4 rule number 4 you can see what happened in this is that a to power m now it's divide a to power n so divide you know that I can write like this a to power m a to power n now you can see uh, the power uh, the powers are different the bases are same so already we have discussed in our previous rule that if the denominator if i want to take up the power will be negative so that means what will be this a to power m minus n hope so you got it so this i am taking up so it will be minus since the bases are same so that's why m minus n so let's do an example let's do it take an example 2 to power 3 and 2 to power 2 
so you can see here the bases are same two two same powers are different but now I want to take this up so that means what will be this 2 to power 3 minus 2 so 3 minus 2 is your 1 so I got 2 another example let's do 5 to the power 5 and 5 to the power 3 is there so what can I write this 5 this I'll take it up so 5 minus 3 so it will be 5 square 5 square is almost 5 into 5 25 I'll show you in another one suppose I have like this 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 5 so now I want to take which one is bigger down one so I'll take upper one down so what will be down one it will be so 2 to the power 5 minus this I am taking down that it will 2 so 1 by 2 to the power 3 so it will be 1 by 8 now let's do rule number 5 here comes rule number 5 so it's look like this 8 over m by outside is n this both are power a to power m then outside there is again an index so if this type of the question will be there that means the rule says the power should be multiplied so that means a m into n or you can write a m n also let's do an example suppose i have 2 to power 3 and outside i have square so what can i do directly 3 to the 6 i can write so i'll do a little bit long so 2 3 to the 6 so this is my answer suppose i have another example 3 square and outside is 5 so now you can do directly 3 to 5 is a 10 so this is my answer now let's do rule number 6 so you can see here a to a by b to the power m so there are different but the index is same so if this type of it will be there you can write directly a to the power m b to the power m so example we have 2 to the power 3 and outside I have 2 suppose so what can I write this 2 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 2 so 2 is square is 2 to the 4 3 square is 3 to the 9 so this is our rule number 6 now let's do rule number 7 this one is the easiest rule as you know a to the power 1 suppose if the power is 1 directly I can write a example suppose I have 5 to the 1 5 to the 1 is nothing it's 5 and 2 to the power 1 is nothing it's your 2 now let's do rule number 8 rule number 8 is very important why you can see there is an under root and there is n is there so what can i write if there is under root like this and there is n i this will change how to change in power it will be in fraction 1 by n suppose example i have under root 25 it's square root it's called an square root and always there is 2 okay but we don't write then so what can I write this 25 1 upon 2 I can write and as you know that 25 is your 25 is your 5 square that means 25 5 into 5 so I can write 5 square into 1 by 2 so this 2 to get cancelled so I got 5 suppose I have like this 125 and there is 3 this is your cube root cube root means by the by this rule what can I write 125 1 by 3 so as you know this 125 I can write 5 into 5 into 5 so outside what do you have 1 by 3 this is your 5 cube so into 1 by 3 3 3 get cancelled so again I got 5 so this is your rule number 8 now let's do rule number 9 here we have rule number 9 so in this rule you can see suppose I have a to power m in you can see there is a fraction so this I can change in root suppose I can write this as n a to the power m okay or this I can change to this suppose I'll show you an example suppose I got an example like this 3 is there and this side is 125 2 to power suppose 2 is there okay so what can I write this as this just reverse it 125 so this is cube root cube root I can change you know that this 2 is there cube root I can write 1 by 3 so 125 you know 125 I can write 125 I can write 5 into 5 into 5 so 2 ones are 2 2 by 3 so 5 into 5 into 5 what can I write 5 cube into 2 by 3 so 3 3 get cancelled so I got 5 square 5 square is your 25 so this is my rule number 9. So in next class, 
in my next video now we will solve some numerical problem so please like share and subscribe with your friends